Western Sahara has been making more friends that support its cause, notably with the DFF's U.S. Western Sahara Foundation, which promotes awareness on the Sahrawi people's fight for self-determination. Algeria understands the struggles of Sahrawis and continues to support their fight, giving them the partnership they need. Thank you to the people of Algeria. They understand from their own experience the, the importance of this issue having been a colony and having been a, uh, under a brutal occupation. Uh, Western Sahara is under a brutal occupation. It is our occupation. The Sahrawi people's fight calls for peaceful ways to end the illegal occupation while putting their faith in the United Nations, and it is only considered historical that the international community finds a solution. Number one, they're right. They're, they are right. The, the uh, justice and the rule of law are on their side. Uh, number two, they're very noble in their struggle. They've never resorted to terrorism. They've always relied on international law, so they're very noble struggle. Number three is the role of women. Uh, they have, the uh, role of Algerian women has also been very strong. And then um, number four are the friends they have. And uh, the first, their first friends were really the people of Algeria. Morocco continues to obstruct all agreements between the two parties and can't seem to get anybody on its side unless using its own methods. The only people that support the Moroccan point of view either are ignorant of the facts or they're, or they, um, or they're being bribed. I know in my country the Moroccan uh, Kingdom of Morocco spends millions of dollars to try to lie and mislead people in America and in our government about this issue. And conventional methods will eventually collapse and the Sahrawis will triumph, building their internationally recognized republic.